Hello everyone, hope you are keeping well. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Hisense HS214 soundbar with built-in mini sub. I picked this up for our bedroom and as you can see there, the box is really small and it's low profile and it has got um, various inputs like HDMI, ARC, Bluetooth, optical lining, 3.5mm um, input. What's included in the packaging is the remote control, manual, um, a HDMI cable which is handy, and some wall plugs. Right, with the packaging out of the way, you can see um, what's inside and the finish of the soundbar itself. There is some um, indicator on top and behind now you can see it's very compact. There's the mini subwoofer. Um, let's look around. Right, over there it's all the inputs. Um, that is optical in um, USB, I think. Um, what else? This, the other one is HDMI. Let me bring it up closer so that you guys can have a better look. Okay, yeah, so you can see the sign, signs there. USB, optical input, aux in, which is the 3.5mm. Um, what's that? Oh, that's the coax input. HDMI again and that's it really um, the unit itself is fairly compact but it's quite weighty it's got a premium feel I don't think that it has got any function but it's just you know it looks nice but yeah overall the finish of the soundbar it's quite good it's got some weight to it those two are for the um, wall mount which comes with the plug and the last one it's the IR repeater Next, I'm going to be demonstrating how Alan Walker's faded sound through different sources. Um, please also note that this is recorded using Rode VideoMic NTG, which is a mono microphone. So that is how the TV speaker sounds. Hopefully it will come through well through the um, video mic NTG. Next, I'm going to be turning on the Arcam soundbar plus and the subwoofer. So it is connected using HDMI ARC. I'm going to be playing at the default volume on the computer.
needless to say, I'm, I'm sure you agree that the sound improvement using the TV speaker and the Arkham soundbar plus the subwoofer, it's massive. So next, I'm going to be um, connecting the Hisense HS214 soundbar to the computer using the same HDMI ARC cable. Wow, this thing can go quite loud for such a small soundbar. to be cycling through different sound modes. That's a lot of Alan Walker. Um, so now you're looking at the remote with the usual buttons. The most important thing is that it has got um, dimmer indicator settings which can turn off the indicator completely if you want. And also the last two buttons there are to control the bass. Next you can see how the TV and the soundbar is connected through one HDMI cable. The HDMI is plugged into the HDMI ARC port of the TV if your TV has got one and it allows me to control the soundbar by using the TV's remote. So hope you find this useful and don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with people which you think might be interested in this. Thank you, bye bye.